This is the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club 2022 Hops Experiment, Hoppy Blonde Ale. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewers Hardware, Five Star Chemicals, and Yakima Valley Hops. Get brewing. Another video for the BrewTubers Blonde Ale Hop Experiment. Um, this one is Brookside Brews. Really nice can art. Although it kind of reminds me of a Scrabble game. Maybe that's what he's going for. Um, this is with T90 Mosaic. So the mosaic that we are all used to. <clears throat> I shouldn't say all. But it's one I've used the most. So... Nice, clear, very clear, um, yellow, fine white head, nice and thick. This is an interesting hop, and I've every time I've brewed with this hop, it's been fruity. I've had it commercially a few times in certain beers, some that act like or maybe indicate that they're likely most either... Um, smash beers are mostly smash, you know, mostly single hop at least. This one's got a lot of papaya. A little bit of orange in there. <clears throat> Initially, that first smell, I got a little bit of an earthiness. Kind of borderline between like an earth and pine, but it's gone. It's not uncommon that that happens. Yeah, a lot of papaya. Um, there's a couple other fruits in there that I'm not... I don't totally know what they are. But it's very fruity. Um, tropical fruit, but not sweet. Um, the aroma does not give me the impression of sweetness or anything. It's But it is fairly fruity. And other than that initial blast, no pine. Which I think some of these have had pine... This is interesting because I'm getting loads of both papaya and passion fruit. And I have never got passion fruit out of hops. Well, I take that back. One person got got some out of a uh, thiol hop experiment. That one's coming up. Um, but yeah, lots of passion fruit, lots of papaya. Um, definitely very tropical Getting a little bit of like a mandarin orange coming out also. Um, bready malt, nice, sim similar to the others. Um, you know, just like a bread, a little bit of a doughy kind of bread, like a wheat, um, but just a little bit. Uh, mouth feels medium body, uh, moderate carbonation. Almost seemed like the carbonation would be high, but it does not, it, it doesn't give me the feeling that it's high. Um, no astringency, no creaminess. Um, definitely a wonderful beer. Um, yeah, very fruity though. I mean, interestingly fruity. Because I've, like I said, I've had like earthy green pepper almost come out of this in commercial beers. And usually, I think the couple times I've had it, it's been more on the orange fruity. And this has got some different fruits in it, which is really nice. So, and this is... I don't know what year of hops he used, um, probably 21 or 22. So the last time I brewed with this has been a few years. So the crops do change over time. But yeah, definitely a very nice beer. Um, easy drinkable. It is it is moderately low bitterness, um, right where a Blonde Ale should be. Um, maybe a tad on the high side, but not, not extreme. Um, but in terms of, I think, uh, what the experiment's really meant for, it's uh, very different from some of the other mosaic ones, uh, particularly that mosaic um, 
what was it the uh not the cryo hop the incognito that one was really different compared to this so cheers <laughs>